let us try to take a well-known material and break it into its elementary constituents. We can sort water into two substances with an electrical current. The current enters the base of one tube and leaves by the other. Tiny bubbles form and rise within each tube to sum up into a noticeable space. Hydrogen on the left, oxygen on the right. Note the proportions of the two gas volumes. Before our eyes, the famous formula is realized. Two volumes of hydrogen to one of oxygen, H2O. Something internal must be behind this simplicity. We did nothing to build in a simple ratio. Let's try the reverse, combining the two elements. The steel cylinders hold commercial hydrogen and oxygen. We put equal amounts of each gas into a single strong glass tube. That's the hydrogen. It displaces some of the water that was in the tube. Two units. Now for the oxygen. The gases combine when triggered by an electrical spark. Watch again in slow motion. None of the gas escapes from the bottom of the tube. The newly made water just joins what was there. But there is something left over. There is always something left over. We tried all afternoon to change that result. But the gases were stubborn. Two hydrogens can take up one oxygen, but no more. One oxygen is left over. Something deep within water appears to know a little arithmetic. I do not claim there is only one way to explain so simple a result. But if there are atoms, and if within water they do cling into little clusters of the right type, that would explain everything very neatly. H2O.